from the master source. Gathered our natural, nothing we had to force. We were stars in the wars, we been had to force. All right, Evan, man, congratulations on everything that's happened to you. Just, you know, we talked on the ALCS, and you were just excited to be here. But now you're a champ and everything. Just being able to look back just barely a month or two months ago, how has that sort of soaked in with you? Yeah, it's been really cool to be able to experience that so quickly. Um, but now that, you know, you kind of got a taste of what that feels like, you know, you've, you've been to those stages in your baseball career, and it just makes you want to get back there every single year. So now the, uh, the standard has been set for this year, and I'm really excited. You know, one thing I love is that, you know, you've always been humble about, you know, just – I know you see the reports. Everybody says that, you know, you're the next thing. And obviously, you are the talent shows, like the 5-2 the and everything. Just being able to handle that pressure of being what they consider the next big thing in baseball. How have you been able to handle that and just getting the praise that you are getting in such quick time? I appreciate it. Um, I, I think it's really cool. It's fun. Um, I try not to let that go too far, look too far into it, just kind of keep winning and having fun by playing uh, at the forefront of everything. So, you know, I'm, uh, it's, blessed. it's a blessing for me to be here. Um, and I just want to keep having fun and winning games. And anything, you know, on a personal level that comes with that is going to be icing on the cake. Well, you know, I just talked about the 5 2 player type stuff, man. But the interesting part about you is that you do everything well, right? You do, even at an elite level, that's a lot of things. But if you could take a certain attribute from any player in baseball, whether it's contact, power, or speed, and add it to your arsenal, what trait would you want to take from one player? Um, I would probably take somebody's power. Um, probably, gosh, let's call it Alonzo's power. We'll Peter Alonzo. Yeah, there we go. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. So obviously, you and Wyatt are the talk of this team, man, and just the future is so bright. Obviously, you have, you've been able to relish the championship, but just in your conversation, you don't have to say much about it, but just talking to Wyatt, sort of being like quote unquote his mentor because you were in his position last year. What do you see in him as a talent going forward as well? Because you guys are like a dynamic duo, a young dynamic duo. Yeah, I think it's really cool that um, that he got to break with the team with us this year. Uh, I don't think anybody was surprised by it. Um, you know, we're two different players, but similar in some ways, but very different in others. So I think it's really cool to kind of capture, you know, he's probably got that. I could have said him for power, you know, to um, so kind of have two different sides of it. But this is my first opening day, too, so we're kind of just learning together. Love it. Last question. So this is a, a, a Rangers Reddit fan question. And um, Christy wanted to know, basically, this offseason obviously was very fast for you. You didn't really have time to rest and do what you want to do, maybe vacation. But what did you work on this offseason as a player to get better at? Yeah, I just wanted to gain weight. Um, I gained probably 15 pounds or so this offseason, gained it back on. Um, I lost a lot last year. And then just trying to get more consistent with my move at the plate. Um, you know, you can work on everything at – I guess your whole career, you always want to get better. But for me, gaining weight was really important for this offseason. I love it, man. Well, that's it, man. I appreciate your time now. Thank you.